All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about the issue that I'm having while using my Elgato HD60 Plus, trying to stream through OBS and use my webcam to get everything done. So as you can see, this is my opening page. Uh, make sure y'all follow me on YouTube. I'm going to have a lot of good gaming stuff as soon as I get all this stuff up. But if you notice, my screen is light, how I like it. It's pretty bright, right? And it's showing up well on the OBS screen right there. Now, my only issue is when I actually go into my PlayStation, the screen is going to restart and it actually comes back very, very dim. I don't know how to fix it. It is extremely hard to play the game with this with a uh, lack of contrast, depth, and color. So that's why I haven't been streaming as much with getting this set up. Um, one of the things holding me back, but I'm doing this build for you guys. So I want to make sure everybody gets to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. So we're going to just press this. And if you can see, we're looking good. We get the hard reset. Now look at the screen. I'm not sure if you can tell from the camera, but that screen is completely dark. Like this screen is all vivid. I've been disconnected uh, on these prompts. So yeah, this screen is extremely vivid, extremely bright because the settings are placed like that on the screen. But my screen itself is really dull. I mean, the camera's doing it way more justice than it should. It's almost just like, it's dark. It's dark compared to that. That to that is like night and day. Extremely hard to play on, so we're gonna try to figure it out. Guys, so I've been doing a little research and I got the screen popped up nice and bright how it is right now. Now, one of the tips that I got was make sure that your OBS and your Game Capture HD are both up when you start your game. So that was my first thing I tried to do to fix it. Um, let's try this now. So I go in, we still have the bright screen. Everything looks good, looks good. I can play with that most definitely. Looks good on the OBS. I haven't had any issues with the actual OBS stream. It's more the stream that's coming out of the actual Elgato into my screen, making it look washed out. So I'm actually having the opposite problem than what most people were having. Um, so I'm gonna click here and every time I start the game, every time, this is what happens. So I'm gonna start the game, then I'm gonna probably get a black screen. Yep, there it goes. Turned off on there, it comes back on, now I'm washed. I don't know why it does it. I'm gonna keep on trying to figure it out. I'm pretty sure it's some type of setting. Um, this is not a 4K display. It goes up to 2K, I believe but I have my output coming out at 720. So we're just gonna play around with it some more and see if we can get it fixed. All right, guys, we are back. Yes, it is daytime. Yes, it is the next day, but we have an update. Unfortunately, a lot of the times when I make these videos, series of unfortunate events tend to happen, but I'm back today to show you what I did to fix my washed out problem on my display coming from my OBS and my HD60. That's me, how you doing guys? Um, all right, so first things first. Uh, when I used to start the game, um, as you saw earlier in the video, it was getting washed out and I couldn't figure out why. Now, it wasn't doing it for every game, so if I was to go to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Nothing would change. The screen will remain the exact same, be perfect to play and be perfect on my OBS stream. But every time I went to Warzone, which is my bread and butter, uh, the screen would do a hard reset, go black and come back washed out. Now to fix this, this is what I did. So I went to the settings and like I mentioned before, this is not a 4K display. Uh, so I actually went to the system. Boom. And I went to HDMI. Boom. All right. So as you know, before 
you have to turn this off enable hdcp you need to turn that off um first and foremost to get the elgato to work correctly with any screen now after that you want to go down to screen and video and once again i did not have a 4k tv i mean monitor excuse me it was set for my 4k tv but the resolution on this one is actually 2k so i brought down the resolution and one major thing that i had to do was turn off the hdr so if your setup does not come with hdr then you want to make sure you have this off like it needs to be off point blank period for it to work so once i did that and i came in set up my screen and video once again system first for the elgato screen and video for my washed out problems i'm going to go back and we're going to go to games I'm just going to open up warzone which is my problem game you see that nice and vivid both screens we're looking pretty good right we're looking pretty good got a dark screen but it is not washed out it is looking good guys so we figured it out another step in the streaming process the quicker i get this done quicker i get some good quality streams on for you some great gameplay and i can show you guys how good i am so until the next time if you're having this issue this was uh helpful to you make sure you leave a like if you know anybody else going through this same issue please refer them to the video thank you guys so much looking forward to growing this channel with you